Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's going to be a lot of fun. Today's my birthday. So to celebrate my birthday, I want to shoot one of my favorite cartridges, the 300 Weatherby Magnum. And today is going to be a test to see how fast we can push the 300 Weatherby. Now, what I've loaded up here are 175 grain LRX, they're the Barnes bullets, and I'm using Reloader 22. Now, according to the Barnes load data, Reloader 22 is going to give me the fastest velocities. Now, I have a hunting load with this bullet, but I've loaded it up with a temp stable powder, H4831SC, and it's near max, and it shoots 0.6 inch groups, and it's going about 3,300 feet per second, which is crazy fast. But here's the thing, Reloader 22 is supposed to go a lot faster than H4831SC. Let me show you. Here is the Barnes 300 Weatherby load data. A couple things to note. Number one, top right barrel length for their test data, it was a 24 inch. My 300 Weatherby is a 26 inch barrel. And the other thing I wanted to note is that my 300 Weatherby shoots a bit faster than most reloading books. So my hunting load is an H4831SC. It's 82.8 .8 grain, so it's just a little bit below max, and it's averaging 3292, while the book says it should be going a little over 3100. Then if we look down at Reloader 22, a max should be 3200 feet per second, so I'm really curious how fast my rifle will shoot it. Lastly, I do think I'll hit a lot of pressure before I even get close to that max load of 84.5 grains. Now to be safe and not to blow myself up or the gun, I'm going to do a ladder test. So we're going to start with 81.5 grains and go off half grain increments. Now, as I mentioned previously, my gun shoots really hot. And so I don't actually expect to be able to go up to max in the book, let alone 83.5 grains. I'm going to guess that this is about the most I will be able to shoot just because of pressure in the gun. But I do expect this to be well over 3,300 feet per second. So it should be fun. Um, let me know what you think the max velocity I'll get today. I'm going to put a guess at 3,350. Should be fun. I wanted my friend Daniel to try out the Timney trigger that I just got and put on this gun. It's a very nice trigger. Let's see how far off we are. I'm going to shoot for that top left target again. Hope you don't blow yourself up. I'm also taking my 270 Winchester with these 124 grain hammer hunter bullets and seeing how well it will group with H4831SC. I did a ladder test last week with them and it's getting a top velocity of 3200 feet per second with this 124 grain. So today we're going to test to see if there's any accuracy with them. Hopefully we'll get some. The rifle that I have my 270 Winchester in is a Savage Axis. I've put on a L5 Lucid Optic that has been a very nice scope. Ah, that's it. Out of flyer. Yeah, we gotta get it. 58 grains of H4831 with the 270 and the 124 hammer bullet. First two were right there, and then the third one was a flyer. Yeah, not very happy with that. So hopefully the next two groups will do better. Back to the 300 Weatherby. This will be our last shot because of the excessive amount of pressure. Thank you. 
3394. Holy crap. Robin Hood. By the way, this is the 300 Weatherby group for the ladder test. So these weren't even all the same weight, obviously, with the grains. Probably three quarter inch group, maybe smaller, and got up to almost 3,400 feet per second. Crazy. My friend brought up his 30 out six. We've been doing load development with the 165 grain nozzler Acubon. Last time we shot it, it got a quarter inch group. So now we're just testing it to see if it can be consistent. All right, get going. It's almost time to go to our range. How'd it do? Right on top of the one, the last one. That's good. Yeah. Do you need any Zach, water to be grass? Yeah. Right on top of it. Stop. And that fourth shot really went right in there. So this is sub half MOA. He might have a good hunting load here. Let's look at the good groups from today with the 30 out six. This is a 165 grain Acubond with IMR 4350. Last time we shot it, it shot a quarter, a quarter inch group. Today we had one flyer. So not counting the flyer, which I know we will count it, but Theoretically, not counting it, it's a 0.365 inch group. I think there's a lot of promise with this 165 grain Acubond. Next up, I really want to test the velocity. If it's anywhere close to 2,900 feet per second, I think we might switch over to the 165 Acubond compared to the 168 TTSX he's shooting. But his 168 TTSX he's shooting is going averaging 2,930. And I have my doubts that this 165 will go that fast. So I don't know, I guess it's really up to him. A well, pretty fun day at the range with the 300 Weatherby. Um, really surprised with velocity and the group size. So again, this is a ladder test, so I'm not really trying to test this for accuracy. So, but four shots into a three quarter inch group, it's not too shabby, especially for a ladder test. Now let's talk pressure. This was a bit too much. Um, it was 40 degrees today and I'm using Reloader 22 which is one of the most unstable temperature sensitive powders you can get. So I will probably never shoot these again in my gun uh, just because it's very likely that I could elk hunt above 40 degrees maybe in 70 degree weather and there'd just be too much pressure. Let me show you what the pressure was looking like Here's what the pressure is looking like. Again, a lot. So 81 and a half grains um, obviously was not terrible, but still a, a decent amount of pressure as you can see the cratering. Don't know the velocity. This was the error one, but if I had to guess, it was probably around 3,300, maybe a little more. Then this one got, as you can see, there's cratering and it's sticking up above the primer, which is no good. Obviously, there's an ejector mark as well, as you can see. So, too much pressure, and it was 3360. Doesn't seem to be much pressure difference, and almost looks better, honestly, than the last one. And this one was 3364, so I guess I found a velocity node. And then, the last one, I was a little nervous to have my friend shoot it, but we did it anyway. And this was the one that almost went 3,400 feet per second. And as you can say, it left the biggest crater and a little too much pressure. So as I had guessed, I did not shoot 83 and a half grains because I don't know, I don't want to ruin my gun. Anyway, really fun day, insane velocities that I can never use again. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video.